What's up, guys, and welcome to Generically Yours, a channel that runs off creativity and enough coffee to power me through editing all these videos. And I promise you, the struggle is real. Welcome to day nine of the 25 days of Christmas character art. If you watch day eight, you know why today is a very happy day for me. You see, for these 25 Christmas characters, I asked my cousin Virginia from Simply Intertwined to come up with each and every single one of them from Christmas and holiday movie specials, you name it. And today, she decided to give me Kermit the Frog from A Muppet's Christmas Carol. I am a huge fan of puppets. I'm a huge fan of the Muppets. The Fraggles, Dark Crystal, Labyrinth, it goes on and on. So when this came out, needless to say, very, very happy. And I gotta be honest, I have an idea. I do have an idea, but it's a big idea. It's a big undertaking. And I don't know if I can do it. Well, I know I can do it. I just don't know if I can do it in time. Do I dare? Kermit, do I have the time to do you justice? I would like to bring him to life in clay. Yeah. I would love nothing more than to bring Kermit the Frog as Bob Cratchit to life in clay as a clay bust. But do I have the time? Mm, do I have the time? Self, I might not have time though. I gotta do 25 days. This is only day nine. Do it. I want you, Self. I really, really do. I just don't know if I have the time. The struggle is real. This could put me behind. Do it. Oh, Self, I want you so bad. Okay, self, okay. I gotta do it. All clay sculptures pretty much start the same for me. A little tinfoil armature covered in clay and I just add to it till it works. I did pick up a few tips and tricks from another YouTuber called Ace of Clay, like pressing a toothbrush into Kermit so that he looked like he was made of fleece or felt. It's surprising how well that works. So if you also work with clay, I would suggest you check out Ace of Clay because you may learn some things you can include in your own art to make it even more amazing. When I was approaching doing Kermit Bob Cratchit here, I wanted him to be something I could be proud of. I was definitely doing this for myself. This was not just another, oh, let's do this for a YouTube video project. This was a, I'm going to be proud of this, dang it. I want this to be something I can look at and be like, yes, I accomplished that. So even though I put this tiny little button in and put in the tiny little buttonholes and ended up covering it with this scarf that I made and textured to look like cloth by using part of my craft knife, I was still happy that I put that button there to be mostly covered up because I know that button is there. I know that that tiny little detail is there. <laughs> Another thing that I did differently for this project is something that Ace of Clay also does. He pre-bakes a little bit, which basically means put it in the oven for a little while just so it hardens enough so you don't have to worry about crushing what you've already done. And it's a lifesaver. It really is. I didn't have to worry about ruining the texture I did on Kermit's head when I put his eyes on. I was afraid the eyes were not going to stick, but I promise you, if you do it, they'll stick. Just make sure you blend them into the hardened clay and they should be fine because my Kermit eyes did not fall off. <laughs> I also dry brushed some bright lime green over some slightly darker lime green to give the fleecy felt texture a little bit more depth. I also dry brushed a little bit of lighter brown over top of 
the darker brown on his coat and I like the effect it gives it almost like a old beaten leathery kind of texture or like a dirty coat kind of texture which either way you look at it works out for Bob Cratchit and I was very afraid of doing Kermit's eyes that's why I did them last I was afraid I was gonna mess them up so I saved the most worrisome part for last luckily it all turned out well he's done <laughs> this is definitely a passion project for me I could not be happier with the outcome this will sit on my shelf for years and years to come no regrets whatsoever it's not to sound over dramatic or corny or cringy but 100% transparency here people Every now and then I create something artistically that I look at afterwards and I think, did I really make that? That's just so amazing and so awesome. Did that actually come from my hands? And this is honestly one of those things. I just can't believe that I actually was able to make this and create this. So that's just how proud of this I am. So guys, let's see what my cousin has in store for day 10. And I'm hoping because Kermit did put me behind that it's something very, 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 very simple. <laughs> okay, Virginia, please, please, what have we got? Line is from a Charlie Brown Christmas. Okay, good. I can, I can, I can do that. I can definitely, I can work with that. Linus is pretty easy. Okay. That's a nice, chill follow-up to Kermit. <laughs> If you enjoyed yourself, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting it hard because there's more caffeine driven creativity to come and more of the 25 days of Christmas characters. Make sure to comment below. Let me know. What do you think of Kermit? Did you like a Muppet's Christmas Carol? It's honestly one of my favorites. It has been for a long, long time. And don't forget guys, on the way out, it helps out the channel a lot more than you think it does. Make sure to slap a like on it. I'll see you in the next one.